Hey guys, so da -da -da -da. I've been waiting for this to come out for quite some time. I'm not crazy about Drunk Elephant as I once was, maybe like two or three years ago, but still want to try everything they come out with and review it. And they announced this product months ago, their Silly Whipped Body Lotion. And then it kind of went off the market and then I didn't really hear anything about it again up until uh, recently. And I was at Ulta a few days ago and surprise, they had it. So this is the whipped version. This is the original version. And I just wanted to compare the two and talk about it a little bit. And I will mention the whipped version is about 40% more expensive than the original. This is $28. The original version is about $20. So I thought I'd do a quick review of it and first impressions video. I will say this original version has like a cherry scent to it. It's not terribly noticeable. Uh, the new whipped version has a vanilla scent, which I'm much more keen on. So uh, the last few days I've been using the whipped version on the left side of my body. I've been using the uh, original version on the right side of my body just to see if I could tell any differences in terms of hydration. And I will say that uh, my left side is a little bit more hydrated, but even just on my hands, uh, it feels more hydrated and smooth than the original version. And the original version has a much longer ingredient list, uh, almost an extra page of ingredients in the uh, original version compared to the new version. And a lot of the ingredients right off the, right off the bat are pretty similar. Water, uh, glycerin, squalane, uh, some fatty alcohols in there, and then obviously marula seed oils in there. And then that's kind of when some of the differences stop. The no newest version, uh, this one has uh, green tea in there, centella asiatica, linseed in there. Uh, then we've got olive oil, uh, green tea extract, astaxanthin, which is a great antioxidant, uh, cholesterol, and then that vanilla fruit, and then vitamin E, and then a few other uh, just uh, filler ingredients, uh, preservatives, things like that. In the uh, the original version has a lot of other, it's got some amino acids, several amino acids in there actually. Uh, linoleic acid, it's got several ceramides, which, uh, let me see, does the new version have the ceramides? It does. So anyway, so this one has a much longer ingredient list and a cherry scent. And this one, shorter ingredient list, uh, a little bit more fatty acids and things like that. So I will say the new version is very hydrating, so let me just do a little... Uh, comparison. I will say, I think this is the reason they slowed down this because they had initially on, listed on Sephora as coming soon, like I think three months ago. Uh, and then they quickly pulled back and I think it's because the dispenser on this one is so tiny. And I think they had that issue with their uh, scrub, scrubby cleanser uh, that the, the hole that comes out is so small it makes it hard to come out of. And if you notice the hole in this one is much larger. So I think that's probably why they pulled it back and then they I don't know why if this, I don't see a list on Ulta or Sephora's websites, but it was in the store, so I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, here's a little swatch of it. It comes out pretty okay. I mean, for something that's $30, I don't want to like whoop, 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 dump the whole thing out anyway at once. So there we go. It's very nice hydrating. Uh, it does have a little bit of a whipped texture, not like I was thinking like with the Lala cream, how whipped texture that is like kind of like whipped cream this one isn't quite like that it's more of a lotion texture but uh it is very nicely hydrating and then the original version i'll just do it at the bottom of my hand just a little bit there we go a little bit more of a lotiony gel texture but to be honest the textures are pretty similar so there you go so the top half is the new version the bottom half is the original version i will say i think my uh, right side of my body is feeling a little bit more hydrated, a little bit less, uh, what would you call it, creepiness, I guess. And it does feel nicely moisturizing. And uh, the vanilla, vanilla is actually a good antioxidant. So when you notice a vanilla scent in something, it's much better than if you notice like uh, bergamot oil fruit or juniper fruit. Those can be irritating, but vanilla is a good antioxidant. So when you smell vanilla, it's actually a good thing in skincare. And then just some of the other ingredients are uh, nice. So, I mean, I will say this has some nice antioxidants, skin identical ingredients, squalane's great, especially for your body, sunflower seed oil, and then I love seeing centella in anything, I get excited. Uh, and this stuff isn't too shabby. I, I don't know if it's this is necessarily worth the $28, but I think this winter, I'll be loving it. And I think you can make it a little bit more creamier, a little bit more hydrating if you mix a little bit of oil, drop or strap of oil, argan oil or whatever. Uh, in it and smooth it on your skin or sometimes I'll use like a bottom layer of something 
like this lotion. I'll apply a layer of this underneath it. This stuff's expensive too. And then something like this over it so you're not absorbing like all of it instantly because to be honest with my skin is so dry especially with winter I could probably go through one of these bottles in probably three weeks or less so that's also why I love this stuff because it comes in a giant tub it's really nice and doesn't necessarily look hydrating it really requires some effort to smooth it under your skin but this stuff is really nice and it's a huge bottle uh how many 16 ounces where these are what eight so this is like double the size and I think like half the price so uh, but anyway, I know there's some people, Matt, probably, you're going to probably buy this and use it on your face, so let me know. Uh, I mean, it does have a few ingredients to be a little bit iffy about sunflower seed, uh, chia seed. So just be careful, but keep me posted. I love that they threw the ceramides in there and the vitamin E pretty close to the end, but still in there. So uh, certainly, if you're a drunk elephant fan, it's one to try. And if you've tried this and liked it, but didn't quite quite find it enough hydrating, I think this is a good step. Although, again, you got the $8 more, but maybe when it's on sale, you can pick it up and give it a try. So anyway, although I do hate these caps, they're nearly impossible to open without, like, breaking a fingernail. I mean, they are so hard to get open. There. Anyway, I know I'm going to break a nail on it, but whatever. Anyway, so those are my first impressions. Interesting hearing from you guys if you had a chance to check it out or if you're an overdrunk elephant uh, and you are, uh, what body lotion are you using at the moment and what do you love about it? So leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.